Welcome. My name is Vicki, and I'm excited to speak to you on behalf of the National Commission on Certification of Physician Assistants. The NCCPA has created a video series to educate VAs and others on NCCPA and the certification process. In this video, I will go over one process of maintaining certification. The Physician Assistant National Recertifying Exam, or PANRI. The certification maintenance process has several steps that you must complete within a certain time frame. One of the steps is passing a recertification exam called PANRI every six years. So what are the requirements and how do you register for PANRI? Good question. The short answer is, it's up to you. As long as you take and pass the exam sometime between your fifth and sixth year of certification. If you need them, you will have a total of four attempts, two in the fifth year and two in the sixth. Once you've applied, you will receive an email with instructions for scheduling your testing appointment at the test center of your choice. Remember to review the exam policies when applying. The policies are very important should you need to change or cancel your testing appointment. And remember, if you need special accommodations on test day due to a documented disability or health-related issue, make sure you check that section when applying for PANRI. PAs recertifying today have more options than ever when taking the PANRI. And who doesn't like options? The PANRI is a general list exam made up of 300 multiple choice questions. But you can choose to have a portion of the exam directed to more general list questions in specific areas. That gives you the opportunity to direct part of your exam in the way that makes the most sense based on your area of practice. Nervous about taking an exam after six years? NCCPA offers practice exams to help you prepare for PANRI. Each PANRI practice exam includes 120 questions taken from NCCPA's Bank of PANRI test questions. There's no better way to get a feel for the type and quality of questions you'll encounter at PANRI. The practice exams also can help you assess your strengths and weaknesses so you'll know where to focus your study efforts. And for the price, you almost can't afford not to take it. For most of us, it costs less than a tank of gas. Today's PANRI questions are written as clinical vignettes. The question stems will include the details about the patient you will need to know to answer correctly. You should be prepared for some pictorials as well, such as EKGs, rhythm strips, dermatologic photographs, and radiographs. And you don't need to memorize lab values. We give them to you. Just click on the data and a screen of normal values will pop up. We know there's a lot riding on this exam. We've worked hard to make the process of registering and scheduling your exam as easy as possible so you can spend your time focusing on preparing for it. Remember to review your exam application acknowledgement email that you will receive within 48 hours after you apply for PANRI. It will provide you with all the information for test day. In addition to the email, you can view the What to Expect on Test Day video in this series. Before we leave the subject, I just have to mention the practice exams one more time. They are a great way to prepare for PANRI and taking a computer-based exam. And to answer the most important question, how do you find out if you passed PANRI? The scoring process is a sophisticated and complicated process based on the Roche model. The most important things to understand are that your score is based on the number of questions you get right, not how many you miss. So wise test takers answer every question on the exam, even when they're not sure about the answer. Also, most PAs appreciate knowing that their scores are calculated by two independent computer systems to ensure accuracy. And more good news, we use a content-based standard setting model to determine the minimum passing standard for the exam. That means that your performance is judged against an established standard, not against how well other test takers performed. If every PA exceeded the passing standard, every PA would pass the exam. 
Want more details about the scoring process? You can read more online at our website. You'll also access your exam results online. Your score will be posted to your secure online personal record within approximately two weeks of your test date. If you want to release your scores to someone else, such as your state licensing board or an employer, it's simple. While at your online record, choose the credentialing info release and submit the third party's information. Your score will be sent within 48 business hours. If you need to take Panry again, remember you have a total of four attempts, two in your fifth year and two in your sixth year. In just 90 days, you can take Panry again if you need to. During this time, you'll want to review your score report, which will give you details on your performance in each of the major sections of the exam. I hope you gained a better understanding and feel more comfortable about taking an exam after several years. Good luck on the Panry. Look for the other videos in this series at www.nccpa.net.